Today we're gonna talk about grommets and do they really suck as much as people say they do? Good old grommet. So when you hear the word grommet, so many people cringe right away. They think, oh, this is gonna be a nightmare. I don't know, the grommet's gonna fall out, it's not gonna work. And there is partial truth to that. Um, and I think a lot of that comes from the cheap tarps that we buy at like a Walmart or a Home Depot. The grommets are stamped in it, they're mass produced, and so many times with a lot of strain and tension back and forth on the things, they rip out, okay? But if you understand how a grommet is put into material, sometimes it helps you understand how not to rip the grommet out. And then if you're adding grommets to something or repairing something, this tutorial might give you a little bit more insight on how to put it in that it's just a little bit more robust and holds up a little bit longer. So when you buy your grommet set, okay, you're gonna get all different stuff in there. You're gonna get your grommets, you are going to get a cutting tool, which looks just like this, okay? You're gonna get a setting tool set, okay? So you have your top setter, and then you have your anvil. The grommets themselves, one is gonna look like a top hat. The other is gonna just look like a flat washer, okay? So this is gonna be our bottom per se, this is gonna be our top per se. Okay, so if I need to set a grommet into this, um, I would take my cutter, determine where that grommet needs to be set, give it a quick hammer, and we're actually cutting material out. What we're gonna look at first is we're gonna take um, that top hat section, we're gonna stick it through the material. Now if you look at this, you can see that there's a lot of metal from that bottom section sticking out. And how a grommet works is I would put the top piece over this, just like that, and then all of that metal that's sticking up from the top hat section here needs to get rolled over onto that top and that locks the two in place. But there's so much metal exposed there that what happens is it's very hard to roll this and make the grommet tight against the material. So when this grommet goes in and it's loose, there's a lot of play back and forth with it like this, and over time, the friction and the force between the material, whatever it may be, and the grommet, wears the material out, and then the grommet gets loose and it falls out. So when we set that grommet, we wanna make sure that it's tight and that it doesn't have play side to side. So there's a really easy way to combat this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take another piece of material. Now, if you have the same material, all the better, it's gonna look nice, but if you were repairing something like a tent, just get some other material and um, cut it that you're creating some thickness, okay? So this is now three ply extra material that I'm going to place over my little top hat, okay? So instead of just one ply holding this grommet in place, now we have four ply. So to do this, I just folded up my extra piece of material. I'm gonna take my cutter, dead center of this thing, and cut that out. All right, now my top hat is in place. I'm gonna put my three extra layers over that and now top it off with that top piece. At this point now, you can see there's very little metal, okay? There's still some there, but there's not a lot that I have to roll over, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our anvil down we're gonna place the top hat portion, which we consider the bottom, over that anvil, and we're gonna take our setting tool, place that on the top, and then we want to hammer this down. Now you can hear the change in tone there, so it was a little bit, and then finally, we heard it solid, and that is when our grommet is set into place. Now at this point, looking at it, there's no side to side movement. There's no up and down movement. It is really nice, really sturdy inside there with these extra layers. 
So now at this point, our grommet is put in place and it is nice, it's sturdy, it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? Now over time, of course, if I would keep pulling at this and pulling at this and pulling at this, there's a possibility that that thing can loosen up and destroy the material, but it has to destroy four plies of material now compared to just one. So very simple, okay? That's how we place a grommet in something. Now, like I said, you know, think of a tent, think of a tarp. If that grommet falls out, okay, you can take more material, place it over there with the hole and reset a grommet and probably still get away with using the old grommet hole as long as you didn't stretch it out too much and you'd be fine. You're right back to square one with a new reinforced grommet. So I hope that video helps some people out. I know I get questions about this all the time um, and it's definitely a skill that we as bushcrafters should have in our toolbox. So definitely add this thing in um, and if you understand how they're set, um, it's gonna help you not, not only repair your items if needed, but also understand how to more properly use your items so you don't have a failure when you're in the field of ripping a grommet out. But at the end of the day, I mean, make up your mind on if you are comfortable enough with something like a grommet or if you want to tie out loop, I think there's applications for both that both of them shine. But just knowing this is a way to go. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, something a little different, still here at the shop, getting it done, but um, winter's gonna be coming before you know it. We're gonna be with heavier gear, more robust gear that we can't have fail us. And if it does, we need to know how to fix it. So that's why I wanted to go over this stuff. So as always, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. Um, if you want, head over to Instagram. I'm on there under Dan Wolwak. Um, and uh, yeah, stay in the woods, stay in the shops, set some grommets, have some fun, and uh, see you next video.